It's about nine o'clock in the morning and uh, don't look like I'm gonna get a whole lot done today because I'm gonna have to uh, climb up here and uh, fix the spring on my garage door. Looks like the spring is broken. So I decided to do a video. They say you gotta do at least one video a week to make your channel grow. So I'm gonna try to be consistent with that. Now, a lot of people were asking me about that uh, clone gauge that I make, the uh, temperature gauge. But a lot of people are now starting to request uh, this amps gauge that I have. Now, I'm running an alternator in my uh, 57TR3, which is a 65 amp uh, mini alternator. And I'm just going to show you a quick comparison uh, between the original, which is on the right, and it's a 30 uh, amperage uh, gauge, and the one that I am running in my vehicle, which is a 60 amp gauge, which is on the left. Just kind of just giving you a little run through, seeing the difference, and you can compare them side by side. Because a lot of times you see things and, and they're standalone, and you don't really get a chance to see it for what it is. And uh, for those who like the original look, which would be myself, because um, that was one of the reasons why I came up with this uh, little design here, because it, it looks pretty close. I'm not going to say identical, but it looks pretty close to the original. And for those who are looking on to the vehicle, absolutely, they do not notice that it's not an original. Now, here's something that I probably don't have to tell you if you own one of these vehicles, but the uh, the bezel on here is slightly smaller than the other three, the uh, fuel, oil, and the temperature gauge. And not only is it slightly smaller, but it's attached to the actual gauge. The way you access it is through the back. You got these little tabs right here and you slide that out and then you're able to get into the inside of it. And the main thing that I thought was, you know, not as appealing as the other three, the lens on the front, the glass of it is not as curved as the other three. So again, it has the, uh, the light port, which illuminates from the dash itself, the uh, fascia, and it allows the light to go through that port and, and give you the impression that there is a light there. So there's no light on this. And then of course the back, which is just the basics. So I'm gonna put that to the side. And uh, here we have my 60 amp gauge. Um, has the exact same curvature in it as the uh, other three gauges. Not only does it have that same curve, but it has the same chrome bezel, which is a little thicker than the original one on the amps gauge. Now the main difference in this is it does not have the light port on the side, but it does have a light on the back. So uh, that's a matter of preference. You know, if you like it, you do. If you don't, you don't. But this is in essence what it is. Now I make these available, you know, on my eBay page. Um, that my eBay page is Street Runners, and that's Street and then Runners, which is spelled R-U-N-N-A-Z. You can get this as well as some of the other items that I make, uh, like the closing panels for the TR3 uh, floor pans. I, I do quite a few little pieces. I don't claim to be a professional or nothing like that. But what I am is someone who refuses to take no for an answer. TR Rehab. Uh, visit my channel, subscribe, uh, like my videos. Hey, we might learn something together.